let's recall the total probability theorem let's say we have this sample space omega and this sample space omega has been partitioned into three subset that is a1 a2 and a3 or you can say that we have three events that is a1 a2 and a3 and these three events are disjoint and combinedly they exhaust all the possibilities and we are interested in finding the probability of this event b it is obvious to see that if these event that is a1 and a2 and a3 if they combinedly exhaust the all possibilities and if we are asking that event what's the probability of this event b then obviously from this diagram even you can see that this event b will be falling under different different scenario maybe under scenario a1 under scenario a2 under scenario a3 for this particular example right because a1 a2 a3 exhaust all possibilities and if we are interested in some other event that is event b then obviously it is going to fall under these scenario maybe a1 a2 or maybe in all these scenario for this particular example right so how we can we have already seen this kind of situation so we are interested in finding the probability of this event b so maybe this event b can occur under this scenario right so that is a1 intersection b or maybe b can even occur in this scenario that is a2 intersection b or maybe b can occur in this scenario union a3 intersection b so if we have to find the probabilities we can simply add these scenarios and we will have the total probability of this event b we can write these like this that let's say, say under this scenario a1 so event a1 has occurred what's the probability of this b given a1 has occurred plus under the scenario a2 since a2 has occurred what's the probability of this event b plus under the scenario a3 since a3 has occurred then what's the probability of this event b so we can write right so this is what the total probability theorem now moving forward since we are very much aware of the random variable let me define a random variable x and whenever random variable this x takes the small value x i will say that it this event b has occurred how we can write this now using random variable so event b is occurring here 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 all these are conditional probabilities right so let me first of all write we can write like this so event a uh, probability of this event b under the scenario a1 that what will be the probability of this event b so we can equivalent if we can say that probability of this event b is whenever random variable x takes the value small x and similar for other also under the scenario a2 when a2 has occurred what's the probability of b or equivalently what the random variable x will take the value small x similarly for event a3 event a3 has occurred under the scenario what's the probability of event b or equivalently what's the random variable x will take the value small x and if you recognize these are nothing but the conditional pmfs probability mass function 
right so how we can write so probability of this event a1 times probability so we are talking about the random variable x but under some scenario that is a1 or under some given condition and similarly for other scenarios that probability we are talking about the random variable x but under some scenario when a2 has happened plus under the scenario a3 when we are talking about this random variable x under the scenario a3 now let me do one thing let's so let's multiply x to both side so here we will have probability of this b is equal to probability of this scenario a1 here we will have x since we are multiplying both side x and here we will have pmf conditional pmf and similar for all the terms that we have under the scenario a2 plus under the scenario a3 here we will have x since we are multiplying both side x and this is pmf conditional pmf under the condition a3 and do one more thing also do the summation over this x so we are going to do it on the both side so this probability will be some number so that is why it is out of this summation and these two quantities depending on this summation so that will be in the summation now if you observe these terms what is this and what is this and what is this and what is this so this is this is nothing but the condition a uh, sorry expectation of this random variable x that is equal to probability of this first scenario that is a1 and what is this if you recall from our last lecture so this is conditional pmf right and uh, so this is nothing but the conditional expectation so random variable expectation of this random variable x given the scenario a1 plus probability of this scenario a2 times the expectation of this random variable x given under the scenario a2 plus probability of this scenario a3 times expectation of so this is nothing but the expectation of conditional expectation or you can say expectation of this random variable x given the scenario a3 so this is what the total expectation theorem so what we are doing here if we are interested in finding the expected value of this particular random variable x and this random variable x corresponds to the event b and this event b is in different different scenario so event b is in scenario a1 and scenario a3 and scenario a2 and we are interested in finding the expected value of this random variable x so if you look at the formula here what is happening so you just need to find the expected value of this random variable x under scenario a1 and individually for each scenario you just need to find the expected value under scenario a2 you need to find the expected value of this random variable x under this scenario a3 and you need to multiply the respective probabilities of those scenario and at the end you are going to add that will give you the complete ex the total expectation of this random variable x that corresponds to the event b so when it is helpful so basically if we have been asked the expected value 
of some random variable x and that corresponds to some event b and if somehow we are able to divide this interested event b into sub scenarios sub simple scenarios where these calculations are easy to do we can do that we can simply divide the interested event into the scenarios and we can find the individual expectation of that random variable in each scenario and we can simply multiply the respective probabilities of each scenario and we are going to add up those that will give us the com total expectation of this random variable b so if a com if model is complex an interested event that we are having is complex we can make use of such kind of thing where we are just dividing and we are at the end we are finding the complete expectation or the total expectation let me take an example then you will have a good idea about this total expectation theorem so we have given this probability mass function and we just want to find the expected value of this random variable x we can find as usual way that uh, we you we used to find but we can also make use of the total expectation theorem so how we can see let's say that this we, we are considering as the event a1 and this whole as we are considering as the event a2 so using the total expectation theorem what we can say that the expected value of this random variable x will be the probability of this particular event a1 times the expectation of this random variable x under the scenario a1 plus probability of the scenario a2 times the expected value of this random variable x give under scenario a2 so what we are doing we are just dividing our pmf into sub uh, you can say scenarios and we are finding the expectation value under each scenario and just we are multiplying with the respective probabilities and at the end we are going to add those this is what we will be getting the total expectation so it will be helpful right now the example we have taken is not much complicated but if we have a complicated or a complex model then this divide and conquer your method will help you out to find the total expectation of a random variable in much simpler way so here we just need to find this probability of this event a so probability of this event a is nothing but 1 divided by 9 plus 1 divided by 9 plus 1 divided by 9 so probability of this event a refers to random variable taking the value 0 1 and 2 right so the total probability will be 1 divided by 9 plus 1 divided by 9 plus 1 divided by 9 so that will give you 1 divided by 3 and similarly probability of this scenario a2 where random variable are taking the values 2 6 7 8 with the probability 2 divided by 9 so the total probability of this scenario a2 will be 6 divided by 9 that is 2 divided by 3 now next we have to just find the expectation of this random variable x under the scenario a1 so if we just condition ourselves into this particular scenario given this scenario a1 so we are considering just this particular scenario what will be the expectation so if you look at here the pmf we have given the uniform distribution so by symmetry we can directly say the expectation value the or the expected value of this random variable x under the scenario a1 will be 1 right by symmetry we can say this is the uniform distribution and by symmetry we can say the expectation value will be 1 
again we have to find the expectation value into the scenario a2 we have again this uniform distribution and by using symmetry we can say the expected value will be 7 so we have calculated the required thing to find the total expectation so the total expectation of this random variable x will be 1 divided by 3 times the expected value under the scenario a1 that is 1 plus probability of the scenario a2 that is 2 divided by 3 and the expectation of random variable x under the scenario a2 is 7 so what we'll be getting is 15 divided by 3 that is 5 so you see by making use of this total expectation theorem we can partition our complex model into simpler one and individually we can calculate their expectation calculate the expectation of random variable under each scenario and weight with their respective probabilities and add up so we will be getting the total expected value of that random variable we will be looking more problems as we go on this is all in this video thank you